CrackBerry.com. Hi everyone, Adam here for CrackBerry.com. We are going to check out the calendar application on the BlackBerry Playbook. This is the Playbook 2.0 software sporting the uh, native messages, contacts, and calendar. Uh, so very cool stuff. It's not bridged or anything like that. Native on the device. You have your full calendar here. Um, you can see off the get-go, I have my um, Gmail account synced already, so it's going to show that. And then you have a local calendar as well, and if you have um, Facebook set up, it's going to drag your Facebook calendar in there, which will have your friends' birthdays and all that good stuff. Uh, we can look at the settings real quick. Straightforward stuff, it's just got you know default reminder times, default meeting times. Um, you can choose which view to have when you open. You have your weekly um, and then different agenda views or monthly views rather. Uh, you can choose the first day of the week, which for most people is Sunday or Monday. And then you have your working hours um, and a couple other things down the bottom there. You can change the colors of your calendars. So, you know, if I wanted a fun pink color for my Gmail address, you're more than welcome to do that. And we'll go back in. So this is your main calendar view here. Um, you can see if we tap um, up the top button, it's the today. So it's cool. It's noted as the 21st there, which is the date today. So that's fun. Um, this is our weekly view here. So you can scroll through. See, I don't have a lot on my calendar because I'm not a real big calendar guy. It does have a couple birthdays here, which is pulling from Facebook. Um, you can switch your views there, which is good stuff. You want to add an event. You can do that. It's going to let you choose the calendar. So I can pick my hot pink Gmail calendar here. Um, and we will do subject. We'll do OS2. And then jump to the next field. Um, we'll hide that. You can pick, you know, it's just exactly like you're on your BlackBerry. Um, you have your start date, time, end date. You can do all day. Change your time zone. It's got a recurrence if you have repeating events. And you can change your reminder there. Um, and that's it. I'm going to do a check mark. And we're set. And then the event shows up there. And this is cool. It shows you it's syncing. So this is all going to sync back to your, you know, your Google Calendar or whatever calendars you have set through. So it's very cool stuff the way that it, you know, it fully integrates. It syncs back and forth. Um, one of the downsides, I'm not sure if there's a way around it yet, but it doesn't pull in any of your, um, your secondary Gmail calendars or anything like that. So say you have you know a public calendar for holidays or something like that, it's not um, pulling them in. I haven't found a way yet. Um, so if you come across that, definitely leave a note in the comments there. But really all there is to it. So you can see as we jump through here, you know you can just go between dates. It's gonna have your times there. Um, if you wanna add an appointment, you can just double tap in the spot there and it's gonna show up. And again, we have our, uh, you know, if I had calendar events with anybody in particular, say at a meeting with Kevin, they're going to show up here on a certain day. Um, and it just kind of all integrates back and forth between your contacts, calendar, email, um, and everything. It's super straightforward. So it runs really well. It's awesome. Um, that is the calendar, fully integrated, ready to rock. Definitely check it out.